Welcome back to Turning Point. Today we're going to take a look at a match between Team 3 Sports and Renewal, specifically looking at how one team can dominate another with Force Projection. Force Projection is what occurs when a team has a zone around them that intimidates the other team. There can be many reasons this occurs. In this game, the reason is range. Renewal has Caitlyn, Ziggs, Lulu, and Jace, all of whom have excellent long-range harassment and a decent ability to back off from an engagement while continuing to deal damage. Even Cho'Gath has some moderate range with his basic abilities. Team 3 Sports, on the other hand, has very short-range champions and relatively weak initiation tools. Rengar, Udyr, and Nunu are virtually guaranteed to take significant damage before they reach the squishier members of the team. Kogma has relatively long range and he could do well if he reaches full build. If his entire team plays Protect the Kogma, this could be a possible strategy to win the game. But keep in mind that Kogma has no strong escape, and enough burst while he's in the open will knock him out of the match. Now that we've covered Force Projection, let's look at this match. Caitlyn and Lulu take down the first two towers of the match by starting out at top lane and completely zoning out Rengar, then switching with Jace from bottom lane to knock down a quick second tower. The first big team fight occurs at mid lane. In here you can clearly see blue team attempting to initiate, realizing they can't actually get close enough to take anyone down, and start backing off to their tower. From this point on, they never attempt to engage head on again, instead only looking for fights when purple team is split up. This engagement was their single best opportunity to turn the game around because the gold difference between teams is fairly insignificant here. We're a little further in. Blue team quickly backs off, which is a perfect example of force projection from purple team. The truth is, if blue team engage, they would almost certainly lose. They need purple team to make some kind of mistake to have any real chance with their team comp. Check out Ziggs. He's coming for some split pushing on mid lane, and blue team is going to respond quickly. Split pushing works its best when you can actually escape if you're chased off. It works even better when enough people chase you that your teammates can take another objective. Blue team finally catches a break. After yet another push, they're going to chase purple team out, taking Lulu down as Jace and Cho'Gath get away. Meanwhile, only Anivia realized that Caitlyn and Ziggs moved in on their inhibitor the moment the chase began. This is the final tower takedown before Purple Team goes in for the Nexus. While the Nivea has incredible zone control, especially near towers, Caitlyn has consistently been able to keep damage on structures throughout the game because of her range. Let's look at the tally just moments before the game ends. There have only been four total kills during the entire game. Blue Team never found a favorable opportunity to engage, and they never would have unless Purple Team made an incredibly bad play. The tower count says it all, 9 to 0 less than 25 minutes into the match, leading to a more than 10,000 gold difference between the teams. We talked about force projection and obviously that played a lot into this match. Renewal also did a great job with split pushing and applying constant pressure. It goes without saying that Team 3 Sport made a bad call with their team comp. They also needed to take risks earlier in the match, especially in terms of pushing while purple team moved around. Thanks for watching this episode of Turning Point. Let me know in the comments what champions you would have picked if you had been on blue team.